Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Dave. Um, now this video is being made today because of a couple of questions that come up in my school community's QA live session today. Um, so we run a, an AI um, academy on school, link is in the description below. And every couple of weeks we have a live Q&A session with me. And questions came up today about hosting NA10 and how you actually deploy your code and your AI agents online uh, and the cheapest and the best way to do that. So in this video today, I'm gonna to walk you through step by step how you'd go about doing that. Now there are several providers and actually one of the things I talked about today in the live session was using DigitalOcean, which is a great way of doing it. But actually in this video today, I'm gonna to be using Render, which is another cloud platform, very similar to DigitalOcean, but there's a few less steps involved. So if you're a newbie to all this, then this is a bit easier for you. So what this is gonna do is it, this will uh, enable you to spin up an instance of N8N um, in a self-contained Docker image by a cloud provider, on a cloud provider, should I say. Um, and the key thing is that means that this is then accessible from the public internet. So if you actually want to deploy these agents so that they are accessible online and can be used anywhere in the world, uh, particularly if you're selling this on, you know, as, a, as a, an AI automation agency to a customer, then this is a great way of doing it, okay? So my advice, and as I said in my live Q&A session today, would be that you... Um, have a cloud, house, cloud, cloud hosting provider um, with a Docker image with N8N and have them as separate accounts. So they're, they're, in terms of security, they're um, isolated and kept completely separate. So um, if I have five customers at the moment in my agency, each five of those customers would have different N8N automation agents and AI agents, and those agents would all be installed independently on their own clusters having no you know, relationship to each other and um, that, that's just good for security, good IT practice. So anyway, enough of the background, let's get straight on with the video. So um, what we're going to do is just move that window out of the way. So we're gonna head over to render.com and the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna sign up for an account. Now I'll skip this forward because this is the boring part of the video. Okay, so once you are all signed up to render service, what we're gonna do is select a web services, and then you're gonna click an existing image. Now what we need to put in here is the URL to the Docker image for N8N. So we are gonna find that now with Google. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down the Docker page here and you're just going to pick up this URL here that says docker.nan.io forward slash nanio forward slash nan. Copy that, come back to the render dashboard, and just paste this in here. Right, and click connect. Now we need to give it a name. Now what I would suggest you do to keep this all nice and tidy and well organized is to use the name of the customer who you are uh, building this agent for. Okay, so you can choose your region here. Uh, if you're in the US, you've got lots of different options there. And you've got some options also for Asia and for Europe as well. Now I'm based in Australia, so I'm gonna choose Singapore. And then we need to choose the size. Now, if you're doing this just as a hobby to mess around and to set this up to see how it all works, then choose the free tier, but just be aware that this instance can get spun down and then you have to manually spin it up again, which means that your agent isn't online. So it may well work today, but if it gets spun down, then tomorrow it won't be online and won't work. You'll need to manually restart it, which isn't good for production. So obviously what we're gonna do here in terms of production is just choose the $7 a month instance. Now, the size of the image that you choose is obviously fundamentally important to how complicated how many API calls and how many agents you have running at a simultaneous time on that instance. So um, the good thing is obviously with um, web apps like Render is it's easy to change the plan later on. So we'll stick with starter to start with and we're gonna scroll down 
Okay, and that's basically it. We're just going to choose on deploy web service. So what you'll now see, this, this will take a few minutes, and you'll see that basically this will install the NAN Docker image on your new instance um, on render.com, and um, you'll be almost ready to go. That's simply how easy it is. The one thing just to, uh, that might catch you out is you will see a link there that says available now on localhost. Just need to give it a few more minutes. You'll see the in progress button there. Um, with the spinning circle. Just wait until the installation is fully completed and then you'll see the URL that you'll be able to use. Okay, so once that's all finished installing, it says live there. If I just scroll up a little bit further, you'll see that my web service is listed as custom one and there is my custom URL, which I can copy and we can launch that in its own web browser. And you see it's customer one and it's on render.com. And simply here, all you're going to do now is register your account. Contact at Vector Labs, first name. Click on Next. Save those details. Just going to skip these quickly. Not interested for purposes of this video. Okay, you can get the free license key at the moment for the uh, additional pay for features. I'm just going to skip that. And there you go. You basically have your own self-hosted instance of NA10, which is available live online on the internet. You can now upload and deploy your workflows. Um, you can, uh, so if you set this up correctly, it's be done in the customer's name with their payment details that they're paying for the subscription. Um, or if you have a different business model, you can obviously have it set up in your name. You just need to be aware of where you could get caught out is if the agent is really getting activated lots and lots and lots and suddenly you're caught up in a tailspin having to increase the size of the EC2 instance. Um, yeah, if you're using AWS backend. Um, so yeah, so you, you gotta be careful that you might end up with a situation where you're paying more money and you haven't got that in your contract that you can up the, up the price depending on the usage. And also of course, be careful of the cost of the API calls as well. If that's in your name, you need to be very, very careful of how many times the agent is being called and those costs for the API for OpenAI um, can mount up very, very quickly. So personally, I like to set this up with you know, my own API to start with and get the everything tested and demonstrated to the customer so they can see it all working. And then what I like to do is once, once it's deployed, I have the customer set up their own API account with OpenAI or, or um, Anthropic, and depending on which LLM you're gonna use, and it's their account in their name. They're the API key owner. They pay the API costs, and I just use the API key in their own workflow here. So most of this then is in their name, uh, and they are responsible for it. You're just being paid to set up the agent um, and then you know, maintain it if you have to, uh, make alterations and that kind of stuff. But but basically, there you go. That that's how easy it is, and it's not expensive. You know, I've chosen a a service there that's seven dollars a month. Um, seven US dollars a month and that capacity of um, compute cloud instance would be enough to run a handful of agents, no sweat at all. Um, and there you go, that's as, it's as easy as that. You can, you can bookmark that URL now and give that to the customer and, and keep a record for yourself. And that's it, that's how easy it is to deploy um, AI agents using N8N on the public internet. So thanks very much for watching this video. Um, I was going to do one on DigitalOcean as well, um, which I may do tomorrow, but this basically covers, you know, in essence, what and how you do it. Um, so uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Please make sure you like and subscribe, and please feel free to check out my AI community, um, which is called the AI Academy. Link is in the description below. Got lots of courses on there and lots more videos and content and i've also got lots of free ai agent templates that you can basically just download and use in your own workflows and if you want to sell those on and make money from them then go for it no problem at all thanks very much for watching this video and i'll see you on the next one Bye bye